In this section, we'll talk about BGP route aggregation using unsuppressed maps. Now, unsuppressed maps is more similar to your, just quite opposite to suppressed map, but there are some few slight differences. So in our previous example, like we discussed that if you have four, four router low backs and by default, when you configure route aggregation using summary only, it is going to advertise only the summary route and automatically all the individual prefixes will be suppressed. Now, if you want a specific two prefixes, let's say out of four prefixes, I want to ensure that these two prefixes should also get advertised along with summary network. Now, what I can do is I can use either I can configure suppress map or I can configure unsuppressed map. So unsuppressed maps as the name itself says, whatever the routes matching the ACL permit statement, they will be automatically unsuppressed. So it's a little bit opposite to suppress map, but the major difference between these two is in case of suppress map, which we discussed in our previous concept. Now suppress maps, you cannot apply neighbor specific. It is a global uh, router mode command and it's going to apply for all the neighbors. So we cannot apply it's going to apply simply to all the neighbors. But when you talk about unsuppressed map, now unsuppressed map can be applied to specific neighbors. Like you can see here, I got a command neighbor and I'm going to apply the unsuppressed map to that specific neighbor. Now this is more applicable in scenarios where, let's take an example, I got four loop backs here and it's getting advertised via two different routes and you want to do some path manipulation saying that now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, these four prefixes will get summarized and advertised via this side and this side with slash 22 slash 22. Now, this is my summary address. This is my summary address. Okay. So now uh, what I want to do is I want to do some load balancing or once we aggregate the routes, it's going to advertise to both the piece. Now you may want to do load balancing between these two routes because by default, uh, to reach these prefixes either it will use any one of these route now i want to ensure that the traffic to some specific prefixes like uh, let's say the specific prefixes means maybe out of these two prefixes i want to use this route to reach whereas for all the remaining prefixes i want to use this route so what i can do is i can configure uh, configure summarization that is aggregation along with unsuppress maps i can specifically point to this neighbor and I can configure a route map, which is going to match those two networks. And it's going to unsuppress only towards this neighbor, but the other neighbor will still receive the summary route. But the, but where you apply the unsuppress map, it is going to advertise the su summary routes along with suppress routes. So let us see, let us quickly see how the, how it's going to work. So I got a same topology here, <coughs> the same topology I'll be using here. There's no difference in the topology. I'm going to take router, the same loopbacks which I used last time. So router four loopbacks. I'm going to continue with the same configuration. Like if you remember, we configured in our suppressed map video. Let us verify the configurations. I got Shuran section BGP. Okay. So now if you try to verify the configurations here, I have configured this command where I have summarized 11 dot network using suppress map. Now I'm going to remove that configuration and I want to configure the same thing via using unsuppressed map. So I'll remove this configuration now, which means if you verify on the router two, show IP BGP include 11 dot network. So by default, all the routes will be advertised individually because I removed the summarization. So my requirement is here. This is my task. Remove the aggregation done in the previous task, which we did in our suppress map. Just now I did that. Now configure the router one and router, router one to advertise only these two prefixes, the first two prefixes, which means now my requirement is to ensure that the router one should advertise the summary prefix. Okay. Along with two individual prefixes and those two prefixes are 11.0.0.0 and 11.0.1.0. So the same task I can say, the same task which we did in our previous uh, suppress maps, the same thing I'm going to do. The other neighbor should receive only summary route. So here anyway, I don't have any other neighbor, but, but let's take an example. You can configure one more link here and you can say, okay, this side, it should advertise the summary route. And whereas the other neighbor on this side, 
it should advertise the summary route along with the individual prefixes. Now what I can do is I can go to this router, I can configure towards this neighbor, I can configure neighbor whatever the IP address and then I can say unsuppress map and the name of the route map which I am going to create. So the good thing about the unsuppressed map is uh, in, most, in most cases we generally want a specific prefixes not to suppress. So which means a most common scenario we use unsuppressed maps and also the good thing about this is it's it can be applied to specific neighbor which means I can apply I can apply on this neighbor but the other neighbor will not at all be able to uh, get those prefixes from this side because this side it will only go with summary route. So let's see how to do this one. So here I don't have any any other neighbor on this side, but when you are doing the lab, probably you can try that by by configuring one more neighbor on this side for verification. So here in my lab, I don't have the link connecting between them. So let's try to uh, verify on the router one. I think I can configure it. Let me quickly configure on the router one to router for one more link. So if I verify on the router four. So I'll configure the link between 1 and 4. Now router 4 is just pairing with router 3. I'll, I already have a link connecting between them. So I just need to configure the BGP here for verification in our lab. I can say neighbor 4.4.4.2 remote AS is 100 which is router 1. And on the router 1 I'll also configure neighborship between 1 and 4 here. Router BGP 100 neighbor 4.4.4.2 one remote AS is 400. So now I should see the neighborship should come up between router 1 and router 4. Show IP BGP summary. It's still active. Okay. So by the time we verify the other things, so it will come up. Now router 1, router 2 is able to see all the individual prefixes because we did not configure any summarization. So neighborship is up. And if you try to do summarization on the router 1, let's say router BGP 100, aggregate address 11 dot network, the slash 255255252. I'm just giving the normal summarization. Now when you do normal summarization, our router 2 will receive. When I say summary only, it is going to receive. Let's let's wait for some time for convergence. Probably now you can see this Lavender network will be uh, router two will be receiving only individual summary route. At the same time, if I verify on the router four also, which is connecting to router router one directly, just for verification, we have configured show IP BGP include eleven. You can see Lavender network. It's coming from this side. I think I had to clear it because okay. So anyway, I, I can see from this complete output 11.000. It's coming from both the sides, but when I when I give include, it is going to only include this line. It's not going to include the other line. Anyway, the database two is via this. You can see the route is coming directly from router one. So my requirement is you can see the requirement is very clear here. I want to ensure that when router one is going to advertise to router two, it should advertise along with summary the individual prefixes. But when it is advertising to router 4, it should advertise only the summary routes. So one side, we are advertising individual prefixes. This is more uh, common for path manipulations generally, like you can do path manipulation by saying that, okay, for these individual prefixes, uh, use this path by applying some local preference or weight. Uh, in that scenarios, we generally use this kind of unsuppressed maps. Let's try to configure on the router 1. Okay, so first thing we need to define an ACL which is going to permit those networks. So permit is equal to unsuppressed map. So I'm going to verify. Already I have an ACL which matches these two networks. If you remember, I'm going to remove that. So always whenever you are doing anything uh, relating to other labs, make sure that you remove the previous lab configuration so that it should not uh, affect our next task. So I removed everything. So I'm going to create one more ACL. Let's say I'll, I'll create an ACL 11. I'm going to say permit 11.000. So the networks which you want to unsuppress, I'm going to permit them in this. So next thing I'm going to create a route map. I can say some name and then 
match IP address sorry not one it is so match IP address 11 and then exit now I need to say router BGP 100 and if you remember I already configured the summarize command so when you when you configure the aggregate command what's that command 11.000 slash 255255252 summary only so this command is applying for all the neighbors so when you give this command automatically when router 1 is advertising to router 2 as well as advertising to router 4 any neighbor or router 5 any neighbor it is going to address with summary only so it is applying for all the neighbors now for only one specific neighbor that is towards router 2 i want to say neighbor 1.1.1.2 i need to say unsuppress map and I can define the name of the route map which I created. You can see this is the name of the route map which I used. Done. So for faster convergence, you can simply say clear IP BGP star soft. Now if I verify, let's verify on the router 2. So on the router 2, if I give show IP BGP, uh, show IP BGP, uh, which includes 11 dot network. So now you can see it on the router 2 I can I'm receiving from 1111 which is router 1 I'm receiving a summary prefix and also I'm receiving two individual prefixes which are defined in the unsuppress map so which means uh, router 1 is advertising the summary route to router 2 along with individual prefixes let's verify on the router 4 show IP BGP uh, I can use these commands like let's try to use like this so for more clear verification i can say show ip bgp neighbor 1.1.1.2 which is my router 2 now i want to verify what routes router 1 is advertising i can say advertise routes and i can apply this pap symbol and in that include i can say 11 so which includes only 11 now i can see here router 1 is actually advertising these two individual prefixes to router 2 along with summary mask that is what our requirement so let's try to verify the same thing for the other neighbor which is router 4 and the ip address of the router 4 connected interface is 4.4.4.1 sorry 4.4.4.1 so you can see on the router 4 it is only advertising the summary prefix so even you can go to router 4 and verify show ip bgp so if you're not much aware of this advertise route commands you can simply use the normal BGP command show IP BGP and you can see 11.000 it's coming from 3331 which is router 3 and also coming from 4442 which is router 1 both the sides the summary prefix is coming from both the sides coming from this side as well as coming from here but if you verify the individual prefixes this 11.0 it's only coming from one side it's not received from the other end so this is also one more verification or for clear verification i always prefer this command so show ip bgp neighbors advertise routes and if you want to include specific networks you can just say include uh, whatever the network which is common